I'm just listening. Welcome to Facilitation Friday, everybody, and welcome to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani, your host and teacher, and I'm going to continue talking about facilitation. Last time we talked about improvisation and what is improvisation and the difference between being prepared and not preparing. Uh, so if you didn't see that episode, you might want to go back and look at that one. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to get unstuck and how to move forward in the musical process. And we're also going to talk about how we can use the wisdom of the musician, of the artist, to apply in our own lives. We can apply the wisdom of the creative person, of the artist, uh, in our personal lives to move them forward and enhance them and make them better and make them more like we'd like to have them be and give us more joy and spiritedness in life, feeling of uh, aliveness and pleasure, which is, I think, something we can all aspire to. So I'm going to be pulling a little bit from this book, uh, The Way of Music, Creating Sound Connections in Music Therapy. And so let's talk about listening, first of all. We're going to talk about listening. We're going to talk about how to get unstuck uh, in the creative process. But the first thing is, it all starts with listening. Whether you're making sounds, music, you're, you're putting something out there, or you're wanting to converse with somebody, have a meaningful conversation, and express yourself appropriately and meaningfully. So same idea, uh, it starts with listening. It starts with observation. It starts with silence, because we can't hear, we can't observe, we can't get an idea of what is available to us, what the landscape is, uh, if we're filling it. And we certainly, in, in an art metaphor, a visual art metaphor, we, we wouldn't want to start a painting with a bunch of things already on the canvas. All right, so to start with a clean slate, a clean canvas, uh, we listen. And the reason we listen is to get a sense of what there is already. What am I working with? If I was with a client or a group of people, I certainly want to pay attention to what they're doing, what's happening, right? Then we ask ourselves, how can I improve this for them? We're talking about facilitating right now. And facilitation means to make easy, right? So we want to make the other person's experience easy. So even if it's somebody who's trying to tell you something, and I know a lot of you get this, but if somebody's trying to tell you something, the last thing they need is for you to start telling them things about the things they're telling you. In my courses, I often challenge people to ask someone five questions in a row and listen to their answer and then you know, after each question, so you ask a question, just anything, like what's going on, and they tell you something, and then you pick up something from that answer, and you ask a question about that. So it might get more specific, like, hey, what's going on? Oh, you know, my car broke down on the way over here. Oh, really? What's going, what kind of car do you have? And tell me about that experience. And well, I had to do this, I had to do that. And oh, really? What was that like? And you know, or how did you solve that? Asking a question instead of doing what a lot of people do, which is to talk about something that happened to them uh, based on what the other person told them, and now they're reminded of their own experience, right? We all have been down that road. <laughs> and we're all guilty of that, you know, but we know what that feels like when somebody launches into their own story about, on the topic of your story, you feel like, hey, I was just telling you something that happened to me, and <laughs> I don't know if you heard me, or I don't know how you feel about it. Uh, so this is really important. This relates to validation. It shows that you're listening, and you're paying attention, and you're putting the other person's well-being uh, before your own, and that is being of service. Okay, so we have listening. We know that's important. Let's talk about getting unstuck and rolling into creativity. I was just talking to a friend of mine who had a conflict. I'm going to relate this to music making in a second, but this is something we can all relate to on a personal level. 
So I was talking to a friend, he had a conflict with somebody else, and both of them are kind of stuck. They're stuck because they want the other person to accommodate them before they accommodate the other person. It's kind of like they're you know standing 10 feet apart and they won't take a step towards each other until the other person takes a step. <laughs> Um, what I what I heard was that this person wants the he, he wants to know that it's going to be safe for him. He wants to know that it's going to produce a certain kind of outcome of the conversation. In other words, well, I don't want to talk to them unless I know that it's going to go this way and this way, and you know, it's going to be like this. And so basically, it's a form of planning and having a lot of expectations, and that can certainly have people stuck in an issue of, in this case, reconciliation or repairing a relationship, mending a stressed relationship. But let's go back to music for a second. If you're an artist or you wanna be an artist, you wanna be creative, you wanna play your music, you cannot uh, prevent yourself from doing that based on having some sort of specific idea about what do you wanna, what you wanna have happen. I see a lot of people get stuck in music making and I, I see it visually. Well, we'll say, okay, let's let's create something. And they're thinking, they start thinking. And they, they're they planning and they're thinking, oh, what should I do, what should I do? What's that, what is it gonna sound like if I do this? And what's gonna happen if I do that? And they're, it's almost like they're paralyzed. Because maybe I'm thinking, I'm guessing right now, but a lot of people don't wanna appear unskilled or they don't want something to sound bad um, because they're afraid of being judged by everyone else around them. Or maybe they're, they're, they they're don't want to judge themselves. And, you know, so often people say, oh, that sounds terrible. And they're, you know, they're trying to play something and they're just judging and judging. And that is why a lot of people get stuck in music making. Improvisation is about doing. It's about trying things. And I touched on this a little bit before, but I want to reiterate that you can always you just do something, right? Just do anything. Play a note. Or in the, in the case of having a conversation, just say hello. And then something will happen. Uh, and then you can always repeat the thing you did. You can do it again. You can modify it. Or you can abandon it and do something else. So you're never out of options. There's never a dead end. Except if you make it, if you sit in the dead end and don't move because you're worried about what's going to happen next. All right. I hope that makes sense. So let two big takeaways from this talk, this session is listen and then listen again and listen again and listen again. Respond to what you hear. And then do something, take a step, make a sound. Because that's the only way you're going to be a musician. Musicians and artists in general throw away or discard the vast majority of what they do, I would say, I would argue, unless you're Mozart, apparently. But a lot of people, and if you read some biographies or you know autobiographies or biographies of artists, musicians, artists, You'll, you'll quickly discover that photographers, you know, don't, they, they don't show most of the photos they take. Painters repaint over their canvases many times. Musicians scratch out. I mean, research Beethoven for a second. <laughs> uh, they discard lots of material. So, you know, it's not about what you do to get to the goal. It's about getting to the goal. So if you want to write a song or you want to just play an instrument, You've got to spend time doing it and trying things, and you don't have to keep what you're what you do. You can discard and discard, and that's part of the process as well. Making little corrections, having successive approximations of what it is until you reach one that you're happy with. You you reach a point at which you say, "Okay, this piece is done," or "This is one in a series of a work in progress," or whatever it is. All right. So I hope this helps you in your facilitative goals, whether it's in music or you want to facilitate communication between people. 
or you want to help somebody or help yourself get unstuck and do some repair, whether that's in your musical life or in your social life. All right. And I'd love to know what you think about this. If you can relate to it, uh, if you can't relate to it, if you have a question for me, leave it below. And as always, be kind in your comments. Try to be productive and courteous. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, thanks for supporting World Drum Club. I'll see you next time.